Okay, this is brought to you by PA Biodiesel Supply. Uh, this is our eighth video of eight, and to be honest, there's probably going to be a couple more. We're going to show you how to hook up a motor pump and do the wiring. So one third horsepower carbonator mount motor and pump. Uh, you'll need this for practically any 55 or 60 gallon per hour centrifuge. Okay. Uh, when you buy these, this is pretty much what you're getting. You're getting a motor and you're getting a pump. Uh, no wiring or anything. What you'll need to do is you go and you buy a pigtail from Home Depot, Lowe's. I buy most of my stuff from Lowe's. This is a 14 gauge, 9 foot pigtail and I believe it costs us $9.99. As you can see, there's no ends on. A package of ends will cost you I believe like a buck twenty nine and yeah they're well worth it you'll see guys that are will try to wrap their wires around not really the best thing okay um, as you notice in this punch this out this is just a plastic cap that can be pulled off okay it's made for this to be threaded in we have a three inch clamp connector and you thread this in and that enables you to clamp down on the wiring so when you're pulling on the wire if it gets tugged kicked basically it's pulling on this not on the wire connections okay we have that in let's see if we can't feed the wire through there We'll try not to use bad language, but I can't promise you. I hate this part. Oh, hey, that came through quick. Okay, this is a 110, 240 volt motor. Okay, um, we have line one, line two. That's basically all we're concerned with. The white wire is going to line two connection. The black wire is going to the line one connection and the green wire which is your ground goes to right underneath the green screw I mean that's really how simple it is to wire a motor okay let's put this tighten this down so we're not pulling on the, the connections And this again, I noticed a lot of people, I'll see their motors and they don't have this in. They just have the wire fed through there. So if, if someone's walking by and kicks your wire, basically they're pulling on the connections. Connection comes off, touches something else, you're going to short your motor out. And in all honesty, it's really not worth losing a motor over. Okay. I put my plate back on. Secure it in place. Okay. Now, let's mount the pump. Okay, right there, we take our key. Okay. Okay. We line up our keys. As you see right there, that key goes right in there. That's all there is to it. It mounts right inside this strap here. You can tighten this up. Hence the name carburet carbonator mount pump. Um, a lot of guys I know are using power steering pumps. I don't know. It doesn't really look that great. Plus, there are other things, issues you're going to have with that. One of the reasons I like this pump here, this is preset at 55 PSI. I can loosen my lock nut. I take a 1 8 inch Allen wrench, and when it's hooked up, I can adjust up to 85 PSI. And I'm pretty much set. 
Um, we sell the pump for $289.99, the pump and motor complete. Um, I know you're not going to find a better price. We sell one-third horsepower. We sell half horsepower. Um, we sell one horsepower, pump motor assemblies, anything you're going to need. And like I said, our price cannot, you're not going to beat our price. If you do, call me and let me know and I'll see if I can beat that price. Okay. So far in close to a year and a half, two years, nobody's been able to beat our pricing. And I haven't had to match anyone's price. So, um, if you've watched our other videos, that's the whole idea, people. This is a Dayton pump, a Dayton motor, Dayton pump. Um, basically, we deal with A.O. Smith or Dayton motors, and they're always Dayton pumps, okay? This has uh, Viton seals, okay? And to be honest, the Viton seals are only necessary if you're doing biodiesel. If you're just doing WVO, the Boina seals and Boina mechanical seals and Boina O-rings are going to work fine. They have a temperature rating of, I believe, 220 degrees. So they're going to work fine. But our pumps are, our pumps are coming with Viton seals and O-rings. So again, we're PA Biodiesel Supply, uh, family-owned business. My wife does the filming, and I'm the movie star. Thanks.